And Deborah said, I will surely go with you. Nevertheless, the road on which you are going will not lead to your glory, for the Lord will sell Sisera into the hand of a woman. Good Wednesday morning. The fourth judge of Israel was a woman named Deborah. She was a prophetess, a judge, a wife, and a mother. The general of Israel's forces, Barak, was unwilling to take the lead. I see that as a lack of trust in the Lord more than anything. God then, through Deborah, tells Barak he wouldn't be the one to defeat this foreign commander. Deborah prophesied that a woman would kill this invading general. Now, I could jump on a soapbox here about the introduction of female leadership into the male-dominated culture. But I think there's even a bigger takeaway regarding the leadership of Deborah. She was careful not to grab for leadership because she understood an important truth. Self-promotion always fails to bring lasting fruit in the kingdom of God. The lesson here is that God and God alone promotes his servants in his kingdom. It was Abraham Lincoln who said, what kills a skunk is the publicity it gives itself. Self-promotion, it's always got a bad smell to it. Male leadership, female leadership. Young leadership, old leadership. Perhaps the most important kind of leadership is available leadership. Barak's conditional obedience to God's command, while it's certainly better than disobedience, is not what this situation called for. God needed a leader who was all in. And in this situation, that leader was a woman. But it wasn't Deborah. The leader God used, the woman God used to fulfill Deborah's prophecy was not Deborah herself, although she was a fantastic leader in her own right, but a woman named Jael. People who desire to know God better must be willing to be used by God in any way that he directs them. Availability is much more important to God than talent or intellect or gender. Are you available? God is still looking for men and women who are yielded to him. Which brings us to chapter 5, a song celebrating how God had worked among and through the leaders that were available to him. The song is not just about Deborah and Barak. It's, I think, more about Jael. God didn't use Deborah to be the deliverer of Israel. She was already doing what God had asked her to do, ruling and speaking on his behalf. God would have used Barak, but he was too unsure, too hesitant, quite frankly, unwilling. So God chose someone who was willing to be used. Jael made herself available to God, and he used her to free Israel from their oppressor. God is pleased to appoint anyone to leadership. His criteria? Your willingness and your availability. Lord, this song of Deborah and Barak celebrate all that you accomplished through those who made themselves available to you. Truth be told, there were hundreds, if not even thousands of leaders in this particular battle. It would be easy to diminish Barak's role, but in the end, he did lead well. You accomplished so many specific victories through these who were willing to step out in faith, willing to fight on your behalf. Thank you for gracious, merciful, powerful, compassionate work in our lives. Lord, thank you for the specific things you're accomplishing in us and through us. May your name be glorified as you use us to accomplish your perfect will, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.